Hello and welcome back to another video here on Koi and today we're going to be taking a look at this, not my coffee, this, the 8man ID73 IP security camera. So I'm not going to waste any time, uh, the build, I'll start on that, it's pretty good, got an antenna on the back, it's got a 360 degree tilting head, so you can control it with your phone and view it wherever you want. It also has a micro SD port to record video to, and on the back we have micro USB port for uh, char charging or powering, and then an ethernet cable to connect to the Wi-Fi, obviously. And like I say, it is a Wi-Fi security camera, so I can look at it on the IP360 app from anywhere in the world I want. I can have a look, see what this is looking at, check it on my house or my garage or something like that. But yeah, it, you can save the video from other places like your phone storage, the micro SD card storage, and cloud storage, which is offered within the app. Other features include two-way audio where you can talk through a speaker in the camera to tell someone to go away, and motion detection, which can tell you via the app if the camera has sensed any motion in its view. And so in terms of video quality out of this thing, I will show on the screen now some video in the daytime outside my window, show you what's going on. It's pretty good, it's 1080p, and yeah, it's fairly clear, and you'll definitely be able to identify anyone robbing your house, something like that. And then at night, on the other hand, looking out of a window, the way infrared or night vision works is creates this sort of reflection off the window, which makes it very hard to see out of a window at night. And so if you're gonna use this thing at night and wanted to looking outside, you're probably best having it outside. And I'm not really sure how to bypass this other than just having it outside of a window or maybe clean my window, I don't know. But it is a bit annoying that it does shine as I'll show you on screen now. And so some of the features of this thing, like I said, it can stream straight to the app on the phone. So like I say, again, I can check on it anywhere in the world. I can not just check on it, I can also move it around, put it left to right, up or down. And like I said, in the 360 motion. And on the basis of 360 degree vision, it does have a panoramic preview. So if you wanna select on this little bar at the bottom of the app where in the 360 space you wanna view, you know what's in that direction. So you're not just guessing what is going to be there. And so I kind of like this feature. It's a small one, but it's a very useful one. In terms of time to set up, it took about a minute or two, which is pretty impressive. All you need to do is set up the app, set up your account, and then make it have, get it to make really weird noises. But it gets the job done, so I won't complain. Now, if I could improve anything on this thing, I would probably make it move a bit quieter, as it's not the, not the quietest thing to twist around but ultimately I'm not gonna be moving it a great deal. It's gonna be pointing in one direction 99% of the time. And the second thing is that I would quite like to see a few more features within the app itself, as it does what I like have some Alexa features, but not enough of them in my opinion. So I'd like definitely like to see some more input from that. It'd be pretty useful. And yeah, to conclude, it looks pretty cool. It's a cute little thing, I'm not gonna lie. Now, considering other things, other services like Nest have security cameras, which are so much more expensive than this, and they don't actually do a great deal more, I would definitely get a re recommend getting a few of these for the house, putting them around, and they connect up very nicely to the app. And yeah, for a great price, I think about 25 to 30 pounds, I would definitely recommend these. They're fantastic. IP cameras seem to be getting pretty popular now among smart home tech, and so this fits in very nicely as a universal bit of bit of kit would recommend so thanks a lot for watching this video please subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye